Hi, right, good evening, folks. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Uh, here with the dogs, nice and tired. It's just been another day. By the way, I just gonna clarify that's not really my pants just being there. That's actually a toy that I made for them out of uh, a pants that I didn't um, need anymore. So instead of throwing it away, I made knots on each side of the leg. And I removed the metal parts from the uh, like you know from the from the uh, pants jeans, and they play with it. They they don't play as much as I wanted to, but they play with it as you know. They wanted them to tug on it, but they they become possessive and don't let the other or or let the other dog say, "Hey, I have it. Leave it alone," which is uh, kind of like the rule we have here. Um, Whoever has it keeps it, it has the power to keep it. But in this case, I wanted to have one pulling on the other. I do that, but I have to really, really uh, be in the middle, uh, holding in the middle so that each one is pulling. And, and But, you know, the point was for me to, to have them play on their own without me being in the middle. But, eh, you know, it is what it is. You, you, so... Um, just, just in case you have any pants that you're thinking of throwing away, you might be doing something with it. Maybe you want to rip, just uh, maybe you want to do a, you know, just cut them in half. Who knows? And maybe that works better for you. Anyway, that um, I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, what the the breed needs to survive. What you know, and um, clearly we need people. We need people that uh. uh want to preserve the breed, want to keep the breed, want to help the breed. And in that situation, you know, you have to do, do a self-assessment if you think you are that type of person. If you, if you haven't had a one, if you want to have this breed, be part of this breed, just uh, evaluate yourself, evaluate your life, you know, because there are um, prerequisites. Get down. There are prerequisites to having it, you know, because these are um, not, even though you see them like that, these are not for the sensitive type. These are not for the individual that it easily persuaded. It, it really requires a person that is attentive, attentive and also a person that uh, acts... Um, like the alpha role, like the leader, leadership role in in the group, you know. Um, it's there right now. I'm I'm not letting them be on my sofa. Only the, the small pup. I'm because really, uh, I end up without anywhere to sit. So I'm like, all right, I, they have enough. I, as you can see, I removed the recliner. They have enough. I gotta get another one. Because uh, it feels like in the space for another another cushion there. So I'm going to get another cushion, hopefully something better. Um, so they have more options. And they uh, give me... I, I do enjoy them being with me. But uh, many times they just, you know, <laughs> too much. So I need like a little more to stretch myself. Sometimes I'm like in the corner. But anyway, let's go back to the, the, the topic, which is... Uh, what we need here for the breed to survive, you know, we need people, you know, definitely, um, you know, that will respect the breed, understand the breed, and uh, not want to change the breed. We're not looking for people to change the breed. The breed has a standard, and, and we're trying to preserve it. We're trying to preserve the dogs, and we need people like um, like you, may, perhaps. You, uh, we're looking for people, for example, that uh, hmm, ideally uh, want to have the breed. They don't care if it's not if it's not the uh, temperament of a grand champion in a in the classical terms. You know that that the uh, you know the, the fighting the fighting prowess or ace or or attitude. They they understand that there's some dogs that we call calls call. C U L L. That that uh, basically means that we are trying to we are removing those individual animals from the program, and many times we hope we look for 
uh, individuals, people, families that want a dog that uh, don't have the same standards as you do. They just like the dog, want to have the puppy or the dog, whatever you know, whatever age it is, and, and they appreciate it. So um, they mean perhaps the dog isn't uh, physically, uh, aesthetically pleasing. Perhaps he's not. Uh, he he uh, has some sort of um, physical uh, oddness to it that will not help him win, like you know, confirmation shows, or perhaps uh, isn't going to allow it to work uh, to its best in in hog hunting or whatever other activity that normal people uh, normally people will you know put their dogs on you know especially a dog a breed that is sporting dog a sporting breed a working breed so it requires usually if you're you have a dog to the standard you you require to do things with it otherwise it will not be a happy dog it will not be a tired dog as you see my dogs are tired my dogs get worked. My dogs are healthy, you know, and um, it's part of part of uh, of uh, the prerequisite, the needed things that you um you need to have in order to you know up, help the breed continue on. So um, we also need a person that actually uh, isn't living with mom. I mean, uh, because if you live with mom. Mom kicks you out of the house. What are you gonna do? You know, we're you gonna keep your dog. You know, you, you're gonna have more important things to take care of. You really have to take care of yourself. Learn to uh, be able to support yourself before you start thinking of uh, owning dogs. It's it's just going to just going to help you, and it's going to be better for the dog. You keep you know perhaps. Um, in a few in a few years later, you can have a good dog. You can do other things. You don't have to have a dog to to be part of the the the, um, the community. You don't have to do that. You you can just basically, um, you know, have all the there's there's um everybody has a job. Everybody has a position, like in in, in, a, in any team, you know. Everybody's not a quarterback. Everybody's not a lineman, you know. So if if you have to change positions, if you have to play another position, play another position, brother or sister, you know. But, you know, we, we can't have to, we can't be all jack of all trades. So we have to, um, you know, say, all right, you know, right, this is, this is where I am in my life. This is what I can do uh, to be good at it. You know, because you don't want to be doing something half-ass. You know, like oh, I, can't, I, I can almost kind of do it, but you know, not. no. Look for positions if you know what I mean. That you know, uh, with the dogs that that will make you flourish. You know, make you look good, not not bad. You know, if if you got a lot of stuff, you have ki little kids, little babies right now. You need, to take, you need to take care of that right now. Take care of those little kids. Take care. Of, you know. Getting used to having kids, you know, or, or, or being good dad or good mom, good uh, uncle, whatever, you know, whatever you you are to that, you know. And if it's taking a lot of your time, imagine it's going to take a lot of the time after. So, um, you know, we're looking for people that are already established. They have their own place, you know, some secure. Um, and, 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 you know, you are moving forward in, in being a good person you know we're not you know we i personally don't think that if you drink you know smoke you know you that makes you a bad person you know i i don't think that that at all we all have different cultures we have you know different ways of entertaining ourselves i always think that the only issue i do have is you know entertaining yourself uh, uh on the suffering of uh, other people you know like you know you know or some craziness like with children or anything. I, I definitely don't support any of that. Anything, 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 anything nasty like that. Now, but you know, other than that, I mean, you know, uh, you need to, like I said, go back and, and be a better you. Take care of yourself, and, and then you can have dogs. You know, obviously, uh, get with people that will you know 
get, will that will like wife that likes dogs or girlfriend that have likes go, because that's going to be important for you. So you need to make sure that you know that girlfriend or serious lady isn't going to give you a problem or give you an ultimatum. It's either the dogs or me, and I'm taking the children too. You know, you don't want to get there. So you got to plan ahead. But, you know, we're looking for people that, you know, also another type of people we're looking for. Are people that, like I was saying, that accept to breathe. Uh, even the calls that, that you say, yes, thank you for the call. I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate it. And, and I'm not, you know, uh, you, you probably are going to get these dogs very cheap. Uh, I would expect the dogs to be uh, fixed, neutered, or, uh, or spayed. So you're receiving a, a fixed dog, but you're re receiving it, you know, at a, at a very low price. Uh, or maybe free. Uh, who knows? No, maybe not free. Maybe you still have to pay for the <laughs> for the surgery. But they uh, at, uh, should be considered free. Uh, and then you get a dog that is uh, um, from the lines, but perhaps it clearly, like I said, for one reason or another, didn't make that breeder's cut. But you know, for your standards, for what your needs are, you should appreciate it. And, 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 and believe me, even the calls. That, uh, that this breed has uh, some uh, many times look better and act better than you know regular dogs. Um, uh, unfortunately, we you know the standard is the standard, and people have different standards and different things they're looking at. So um, yeah, are you that type of person? You want to accept a, a a call from a good breeder, you know, because it, it, not every dog is going to be a jeep. Not every dog is going to be a honey bunch or a yellow or, you know, uh, that dog is going to be a maidy, you know. Did you really, there's many, many that uh, don't turn out to be, so you know, above and beyond uh, the standard of, of some and, and become the wow of the many, you know. So we are looking for people that, you know, are being patient, that can take these dogs even the ones that are actually uh, up to standard and look for activities that, you know, uh, tap into those attributes that created the breed, like, you know, uh, agility, uh, you know, tug, tug of war, for example, uh, treadmill for, for stand, stamina and endurance. Uh, obviously, there's more, more speed there for, for that, but all different activities that, find, that lets you see that extra that part of work f from the american people terrier you know always you know and obviously if you know weight pulling if you're going to do that or you know confirmation you know try to do as much as possible and go with people that uh you know go and be the ambassador for for the breed at your level you know and educate you know let you know Socialize your dog to make sure that the dogs are, are fully uh, up to the standard in terms of loving the, the loving people, because they are supposed to love people. These are loving people uh, uh, breed. So anyway, we are looking for good people, you know. And I think uh, many of you guys that listen are the good people that have this breed, are starting to have the breed, or are thinking of getting the breed. And I think that. Um, we are, we want you to have it. We want you to experience it. We want you to show your this breed to your um, to your family, to extended family. Uh, please understand again to be careful with other animals, even if it's their the calls of the individual programs. They still you know may become somewhat you know aggressive with animals. For example, doesn't mean doesn't mean that they're uh, not just other things that you know could have gone wrong anyway this is enough for now this is tony montana until next time